Meanwhile, a man who police say fired a shot inside University Hospital earlier this week has now turned himself in. Action 7 News reporter Todd Unger is live where Cesar Dominguez Garcia surrendered. Real, he showed up here to the North Area Command Center with his lawyer, and frankly, that was about it. We didn't see any theatrics, no chaos, a far different scene than what happened last Tuesday. It has been more than five days since terror spread through the UNMH campus, and since anyone got a good look at this man, 21-year-old Cesar Dominguez Garcia. That was until this afternoon. They arranged for a turn in at 4 o'clock this afternoon, and we had a couple of deputies go out to the North Valley Command. Turned himself in with the help of an attorney after apparently realizing he was running out of time. It appears as though he knew that we were looking for him, and it would have been only a matter of time. Officials aren't sure where the man has been hiding since Tuesday, but they are tonight sure of at least one thing. He's finally behind bars, no longer a threat. We certainly appreciate that, and it makes our jobs easier, and it keeps people in the in the street safe. Now, of course, all of this stemming from a domestic dispute gone terribly wrong in the pediatrics unit last Tuesday at the hospital. Luckily, no one was injured when that shot was fired, but the hospital was locked down. We are told Cesar Dominguez Garcia is facing aggravated battery and aggravated assault charges. We also are told, though, once the DA's office gets a hold of the case, a lot more charges could be pending. We're live in Albuquerque. Todd Unger, Action 7 News. Now, if convicted on the first two charges that Todd just mentioned, the DA says Dominguez Garcia faces a maximum of five and a half years in prison.